We acknowledge that the land on which we live, gather, exchange ideas, and share our past, present, and future is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, and Wendat people. I'm Alice, I'm with the Brockville Museum, and thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Stories from the Stones, where we take a closer look at some of the people buried here in the Brockville cemeteries. Since we are in the month of November, it's an, it's an appropriate time to remember a man who had a part to play in the First World War, and this person was Lieutenant Colonel Frederick C. Curry. Uh, so who was Frederick Curry? He was born in 1891, and his family moved moved from Minden to Brockville in uh, his early childhood years. Uh, he graduated from U of T with a pharmacy degree and enlisted with the 41st Regiment of the Brockville Rifles in 1907. Uh, he was among the first to enlist when World War I or the Great War broke out in 1914 and he was part of the uh, Brockville Rifles. Uh, and while he was there he was attached to the 2nd Battalion as a signaling officer. At the front he took photographs and made sketches of the battlefields. He was wounded by an enemy sniper in 1916 and took time to convalesce, but then he returned to the front in 1917. And he actually penned a memoir, which was called From the St. Lawrence to the Izar, and wrote the following stirring commentary about war as the men faced it. So here are Curry's words, and I hope uh, they leave you some, with some, uh, you know, thoughts in your own head. Alas for our ideals, war now appears in its true light as the game of commerce played on a larger scale with human lives as pawns in the place of dollars and cents. And as for chivalry, how can it live in the midst of machine guns, asphyxiating gases and liquid flames? Uh, so lots to ponder with that particular quote. Uh, when he returned from the war in 1918, he took care of his ailing father and took over Curry's Drugs, the downtown drugstore in the Fulford block in the 1920s. And after the war, he also gave Magic Lantern presentations about uh, his time in World War I, showcasing people, photographs and his sketches from the battlefield. Uh, and he worked in the drugstore until 1962, and he finally passed away in 1965. Uh, so at the Brockville we Museum, we remember Curry as one of Brockville's many veterans, and we have some really cool artifacts about his life story at our People of Brockville exhibit. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.